This video is about Kay. She's an 18 month old female pit bull. And it's a very typical situation that she finds herself in, in, in that she hasn't been that well socialized because she's been a little bit what I'd call probably dominant. And so her owners are keeping her away from other dogs. And this is me letting her introduce herself to my three dogs on her own property. So we've already been for a walk. She was fine. But bringing my dogs into her property now um, is the, the risks are a little bit higher. So as you can see, she's got a muzzle on. And this is the sort of situation where I will use a muzzle. It's not that she's trying to pulling towards the dogs and lunging at them or anything like that but we don't want to take any chances you can see i've dropped that line on the floor only after she's sort of shown me that she's kind of a little bit fairly relaxed but i've left that line on her so she's dragging a lead there just so that if anything does kick off i can walk over and simply pick up her lead and move her away and this video is a perfect example of when i would use a muzzle you can see she's fairly dominant my little dog inca there doesn't kind of know what to do. She's playing it very safe. She's uh, being very submissive, letting this dog go over the top of her. She's standing there, letting her sniff her. She's saying, yep, you're in charge. That's all right. So that's good. That's all good signs so far. Now she's trying to take the muzzle off. Very typical. The, the, the dogs don't like the muzzles on. And this is, is this play? Is this aggression? No, it's all play. It's all good. So Moses is saying, yep, this dog wants to play. And again, she's trying to take that muzzle off. There's not a lot you can do to to get the dogs used to it other than leave the dog with the muzzle on and possibly feed them, give them a good association with it and uh, she'll get used to it. She'll realize it doesn't come off and hopefully she'll give up. As things start to get a little bit excited, you can see this is the danger that as she gets too excited, she decides to kind of growl and if Moses growls back, it could suddenly go a little bit pear-shaped. So this is why the line is on her and if it gets a little bit too excitable, if she gets too excited, I'd walk over, take the lead like this do something uh, like use some of the tools and techniques of stop start change direction possibly do a calm freeze with her we've got that short line on it you could even use timeout if she gets too excited till she calms down but that's all you could do just walk her away like this relax her and then possibly just drop the lead on the ground again that's all you're doing all you're doing is trying to say to her i'm in charge stay calm and relaxed and then uh, and then you can let her go. But I'd keep the muzzle on her until you've seen her with loads of other dogs. And once she's proven that she can behave nicely around them, then of course, the muzzle's not forever. You can start to take it off. So here we are at the beginning of the movie again, just to reiterate some of these points. She's not an aggressive dog, but she could, if she got too excited, start kicking off. And the bigger the dog, the more chance of serious damage being done. So it's about safety first. That's when I use a muzzle. And it's really a case of, when there's a very, very small chance of a, a, a bite and I want to let the dog off leash, that's one of the situations where, yes, I will use a muzzle. I don't think these dogs are going to get bitten. I don't think she's going to kick off. I certainly would not let her off if I did think that. Um, and as you can see, I'm dead right. There's a very, very small chance of things getting out of control. It's very unlikely, but we put that muzzle on because it's about safety first. The other point to remember is your job is to keep control of her that's why I've left that short line on and you're trying to take control of her when she gets too excited and simply you're trying to calm her down whether it's from a level eight to a seven to a six to a five and then you just let her go again another good point is the dogs that you interact with all my three I know they're pretty good with this sort of dog none of them are absolute alpha females who are just looking for another alpha female who thinks she's confident to have a fight with so we've got a Moses there who's he's not going to be trouble he just want to play um, ink is very submissive peanuts kind of pretty laid back so I've chosen the dogs carefully and that's what you also need to do as you start to reintroduce your dog into the world of uh, all the different dogs that are out there K is a classic example of a dog who will be dominant aggressive rather than fearful aggressive she's very confident it's when another alpha female turns up probably that she's going to have the most amount of trouble and what's going to really deal with that issue the most and make her more tolerant is simply putting in place the five golden rules that are inside the video website because when you put those in place and you show her she's not the alpha female in this property that the you know everybody else is in charge above her she will start to calm down relax and uh, she'll be less sort of dominant when she meets other dogs which is exactly what we're looking for for a complete solution to training your dog becoming the pack leader using my five golden rules and raising the perfect puppy check out my video website the online dogtrainer.com. I'm Doggy Dan. Thanks ever so much for watching this movie. Have a great day and love your dog.